I'm at 239 right now. Sore bird right away. So immediately deployed both feathers. Uh, we're doing two feathers these days. I'm not even gonna bother with one anymore. So I got both rods out and um, looks like he took off, but it looks very fishy out here. Uh, I really think, I'm very hopeful for today. It looks like it's gonna be a great day. The water's finally laid down. And I'm on a solo trip today. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, working, can't get away from work. And uh, Hike Meister is not feeling well today. Not feeling well enough to go fishing is bad. So I gotta check on him when we get back. So, other than that, I am gonna be out here working it hard. Follow me, I think it's gonna be a very interesting day. Yo, there we go. Fish on, finally. All right, baby. Love it when we got the fishes on. Let's go, mama. <laughs> I was letting, listen, I was letting the feather out. And that's when we got smacked. What do I think it is? I would say I'm going to go tuna. Although I'm not getting a lot, I'm not getting a lot of head shakes. So I'm not sure what the heck. I'm gonna find out here in a minute, I think. Yep, not a lot of head shakes. Looks good, feels good. Listen, it can only be one of three things. It can only be a bonita, a tuna. Bonita, tuna, mahi. No mahi, because you didn't come to the top. There he goes, there he goes. I said I got some color down there pretty far. Pretty deep color. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bingo. Tuna on board, people. Tuna on board. Nice. That didn't take long. Awesome. Yeah. They're good size ones, too. Look at that. There we go. There's some sushi. Ha hoo. out a little bit. Come on, Bubba. I'm going to bleed you out. Now here's the dilemma. Do we throw out some bait real quick? We just saw the tuna around, so we know that they're around. He's going crazy. I just saw some breaking water. Let the uh, small feather out. As I was letting it out, we got wet. So one fish on the boat, we already got, that's it, we got dinner. Now, do we go back? We're at 265, they do seem to be around. I think I'm gonna throw the feathers out again. If I see them breaking again, then we'll throw out some pilchers and see if we can get them, get them near the boat. Love it. Yep. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's the old saying? Turn the clicker off. With solo fishing, here's the problem. You got too many rides out. All right, you know the old saying, turn the clicker off? I agree. Woo! And you gotta love when they're, when they're hitting, you gotta love it. Same spot, by the way, I went back. So much smaller fish though. This might be a small bonita. So maybe the bonita are mixed in with the tuna today, that's very possible. Or maybe we only have half a fish. Oh my goodness, it's a baby mine. No friends. No, get up here. Oh. Woo. Actually, he might be big enough. He might be big enough. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to check on this guy. Not sure. Yo, I want that hook in my hand. So, gotta be 20 at the fork. Perfect hookup. Gonna measure him down here. So we're gonna let him go. He's just, just, just shy. God, they're pretty fish. All right, so we found fish. Obviously, they're in the area. Life is good. We're gonna keep going and uh, see where we can come up. I mean, this just seems to be a fishy area right now. I'm in 254 feet of water.
Got mahi and got tuna so far. Woo woo! All right, so we got two feathers out. Now, honestly, I got one small feather like the normal feather that catches everything, and then one larger one just to see if there's bigger fish will hit that. But uh, so far, so good, man. So here's how it started. It started with a bunch of uh, just, just some birds flying around, onesies and twosies, not much happening. I ran the feathers around the birds, through the birds, over the birds, under the birds, nothing. Then the birds disappeared. And I got a little bug up my butt to like just let it out a little bit further. And then all of a sudden I saw some fish breaking right next to the boat. Well, about 30 feet away from the boat. About four breaks. Nice size breaks. So I'm like, okay, let me throw the feather back out real quick. So I get the feather out on the way out. As I'm letting the feather go out, boom, that was the tuna. So I came back, went back to the same spot, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to come around and go back to the same spot. And boom, picked up that mahi. He was so close, but I'll be honest with you, you know how it goes. I, I'm not gonna keep everything I catch, and I definitely want a, a bigger one. But right now we're in a really fishy area, so it's perfect. The day is beautiful, it doesn't get any better than this. Water temperature is sitting at 77, so that's like perfect for them. And uh, I guess there's bait in the area, so we're gonna hit it a few more times. This doesn't, you know, we don't continue to get fish then uh, we'll move, we'll definitely move. But I am on the, on the lookout for birds and breaking fish. So that's the deal. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Look at that, look at that, number three. I got fish around, yeah. He's so far, he's cooperating. Man, same spot, actually, came around. Same spot, exactly. See now, this is this is the fishing that Elizabeth likes because this is the catching part. She likes that the best. I don't mind the fishing part, but I also like the catching part. This is going to be an amazing spring. I just had that feeling. We've been talking about it for a while, and I just think this is it. This is the spring. I think it's not a mahi because he hasn't jumped. But I don't, I'm not getting any head shake either, so I'm not sure. Kind of, kind of weird. There we go. Got colored down here. Yeah, there we go. There's the, there's the circle. Absolutely a black man. Woo! Nice. No gapping today. No gapping. Just popping them out. Point. go blackfin number two yeah baby <laughs> that's the way we do it look at that nice right nice just perfect size man for sushi all right so we got all three fish in the exact same spot so i don't know what's here there's nothing on the bottom obviously there must be bait just around and so that's fish number three two tuna he's banging around and i got a Bleed him out a little bit, get him on the ice. And then I think, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep trolling around there. I wanna see if we can find a nice mahi. That's the deal now. So, not, not getting greedy, but I got two tuna, I'm happy with that. And now I would like a nice, nice mahi for mahi steaks or mahi something. So, follow me, this is a very good day. We finally got a great day going here. All right, so all we're running today is two feathers because I'm um, by myself and just running two feathers out there. So I got one on there. And then one on the other one, that one's long, that one's short, you can see it popping back there. And uh, yeah, every single time we've been hitting this spot, it's been boom, boom, boom. So let's make it happen again, let's say it's the magic. All right, fish on, fish on again on the short one. So this time we got him on the short one, this one could be a mahi. I doubt if it's a tuna so short, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna haul him in. Let's see what we got. Click her off, baby, click her off. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. Maybe he's got friends. He's got friends. We got bait. We got we got food for him. Not too happy with this reel right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good 
Bigger tuna. Woo-wee. This guy is broke. Lost them right, lost them right next to the boat, which is okay. We've already got two tuna, kind of happy already. So, you know, win some, lose some. Wasn't much bigger than the other ones, a little bit bigger because he hit this bigger plug. So here's the deal. This is the other feather, but bigger. He's about twice the size. So, all right, we're gonna get it back out there. This is where the tuna are today. They are just here. All right, so we got a small weed line here. Nothing crazy. This is kind of, you know, it's a straight line. Got some, uh, got some grasses on it. We got a ball on it. And this is a good spot. It's a possibility of catching, picking up a mahi here. Woo hoo, we got another one on. This has to be a mahi this time. Got him off the weed line. Come on, baby, come aboard, come on, come on, come aboard, yeah. Mahi, baby! <laughs> Let it out! Let it out! Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> oh man! You get me full of blood. <laughs> You are a bloody SOB, dude. <laughs> there we go. That's a keeper. Dang, another nice fish. Man, he's a beautiful mahi. Only wish Elizabeth was here. That's the only thing we're missing today. Man, that was an awesome catch. He, he bloodied up this whole boat, man. And you know what? It's time to get back out there and get another fish. All right, this is pretty cool. This looks like... All right, this is very cool. This looks like a, uh, literally a floating raft. A little early for that coming out of, uh, well, maybe Haiti or there. It's too small though for that. I'm not sure what it is. It's really weird. It might be, it might be netting. Ah, it might be netting. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God. It's horrible. It's a big, huge net that just goes down. It's got fish in it. Ah, that's disgusting. And that's just, that's just horrible. That's a, that, that's a crying shame right there. It's a monstrous, monstrous net. Obviously lost. And, uh, I guess commercial guys or whatever, but it's, it's horrible because it's got loads of fish in it. It's all tangled up and it goes down about 50, 60, 70 feet. I mean, look at all the fish. Look at all the fish. Yeah, that's a shame. I'm heading back now. That weed line really paid off. I had a really, really good hit on it again. Uh, but somehow he either didn't get hooked well or he spit the hook. I got hit twice on that bigger um, plug today. I'm not happy with that plug. Uh, for some reason, I didn't get good hook sets twice in a row. So I think really what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run two small feathers. I don't know why I don't do that. I, I should just always run two small feathers. I, I honestly think I would have I would have picked them up um, if I'd have done that. The other um, small feather got all the fish today, as usual. I mean, it's all that's, that's the way that goes. So mostly in 250 feet of water if you're going out anytime soon. And there are also a lot of breaks out there today. So a lot of fish jumping, a lot of bait in the water. It is really alive out there, and it. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing spring and summer. So thanks a lot for following me. Follow me now into the kitchen because we're going to go do a catch and cook. I know Elizabeth's going to be thrilled that, uh, that we brought home some mahi and some tuna. So we're going to head on in and uh, thanks a lot for following me so far. Don't quit now. Okay, 
Okay, so we are back in the kitchen. We have the mahi. How beautiful does this look? And tonight we are going to do a very different recipe that we've never tried. So you are gonna experience this for the first time just like us. So we found a recipe online and it is a sweet potato mahi stack, like an open face sandwich, if you will. So obviously we have the mahi and what we have done, we took a sweet potato, washed the sweet potato and then sliced it into slices about the same width as like a thick sourdough bread. And we sprayed it with some avocado oil. You know we love avocado oil. So we sprayed it with that and we're going to put it into the oven. If you have an air fryer, this is perfect for the air fryer. We do not. We have a toaster oven that has a convection setting. So we're gonna do that. Um, or you just put it in the oven. And we are going to uh, get these golden brown. And when we assemble this, it's going to be the sweet potato slice on the bottom mahi on top and then a secret ingredient which you will not believe beet greens the beet root here we use for juicing but i learned that beet greens are not only delicious they're also healthy so we're gonna see what what i have read is that beet greens are similar to like a kale or a swiss char but they're sweeter and not as bitter. So cross your fingers. If you have ever tried beet greens before, drop a comment right now, like how do you make them? I, I've read that you can eat them raw or you can saute them. We're gonna saute them for this recipe. So if you know a special way or a special trick, drop us a comment now. For everybody else, follow us. I'm gonna be a guinea pig. Okay, we're just gonna hit it with a little salt. And they go. We chopped the beet greens and we did include some of the stalks. And I chopped it pretty fine, you'll see here. We're going to cook it down in a pan on the stove. But I tried a piece of it because I've never had it before. And I had read that it is salty. And they're not kidding, it is salty. So when you cook the beet greens, don't add more salt. I have two pans on the stove. We have the sweet potato slices fairly done. So I'm gonna get the rest of this going. It's not gonna take long. So I've got some olive oil that I put in the pans, just a little bit in both. And for the mahi, look at these beautiful pieces. We've got two gorgeous pieces. All I did was put some garlic on them, put some paprika and a little bit of cracked pepper. I don't want to over salt everything because I'm a little gun shy about the um, beet greens and I did put salt on the sweet potatoes. So we're gonna get going. I have olive oil in the pan for the fish. I'm also going to add a little bit of butter. So like one pat of butter. We'll put that in there and we are gonna pan fry the fish and at the same time, I'm gonna saute the beet greens. So wish me luck. Okie dokie, in we go. If you've been around for a while, you have heard my warning multiple times about fish. Put it in the pan, leave it alone. Don't be in here moving it, squiggling it around. Set it in there, leave it be. See how it's getting white up on the sides? That's what you're looking for. Oops, did not mean to move that. Um, that's what you're looking for. Now, once we get some more white on this side, then we'll know it's time to flip it over. This is the thicker side. The thinner side will always get the white creeping up sooner. Look for it on the thicker side. When that starts happening and it gets about halfway up, then you can flip it. The beet greens to go in. We're gonna get up underneath this and we're just gonna, oh, look at that. And now leave it be. I broke my cardinal rule. I'm cooking fish in the house. You know I hate that. I forgot to go downstairs. I cannot believe it. Now the house smells like fish. Big fan on. Pew! Okay, fish is looking good. And look what we did over here with the beet greens. So you want them to wilt down a little bit. So what I did was I added just a little bit of water to it like you would for spinach maybe if you're wilting down spinach. And this is almost ready. 
we're going to assemble next. Okay, I did the whole sweet potato. Obviously, we're not gonna use the whole sweet potato, but you want to take a slice. This is what it looks like. We're gonna put this side down. Then we take a fish fillet right on top. And then we're gonna grab some of this beet greens and sit those right on top as well. If you know me, you know I'm not typically someone who likes my food touching or things that look like this, but I'm willing to try it. It looks beautiful. It was also suggested that you pair it with some hot sauce. So we've got some hot sauce out, but we're just gonna put that on as we see fit. This is completely, totally, way out of the box different. I mean, sweet potato, I've never tried beet greens, and fresh mine. So I'm going to, uh, I'm not even sure how to attack this, but I'm gonna try to get a bite with everything in it. You know, the, the, uh, the beet greens have a color to them. The red part of it, has like a beet color. Okay. All right, I'm going to go. I'm being brave here, I'm going for it. This is a brand new recipe, brand new. Now if it's terrible, you gotta say. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will. You can't tell by my facial expression, can you? Whether I like it or not. I think I would know if you hated it. Maybe the view, maybe the viewer is not, but I think I would know if you hated it. Okay, I like it. Really? I really, I like it, and I'm surprised that I like it. I'm gonna be honest with you. When you were explaining to me what you were gonna do here, I was like, okay, I'm all in, but I'll tell you what it will need. Hot sauce, right? I really yeah, do balance think it, it out. Needs, it needs a little hot sauce. Whenever I read it, I thought, oh, that makes sense because the sweet potato's okay. sweet. Now, something else I'm gonna tell you that I'm kind of surprised at. Um, the greens, what, what are we calling these? We're calling beet, beet greens. greens. They are not salty. Wow. So okay. I don't know what happened, because you, I tried it like you did. You, you know, I tried it with you, and it was very salty when they were raw, but somewhere is along the line, it lost that. Mmm. Okay. I think you're going to be very happy with this. And as odd as this seems, sweet potato, these weird looking beet greens and fish, which I'm not a big fish guy. You all know that. All right, here we go. Your I'm turn. Gonna, I'm gonna try it without any hot sauce. And then I, I have two hot sauces out here, Tabasco, you know, old fake. And then this one, this is like smoky, like, I don't know. I wanna try that too. I'm gonna try that one. Okay, but first, I knew you were a little skeptical when I first said this well, to you. Well, you know what? The combination is just kind of weird. Well, and here's, okay, now that now that we're here. Yeah. Uh, in the recipe that I found, they used kale. They didn't use beet greens, but we have mm. been talking about trying the beet greens. So I just thought, why not? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I took too big of a bite. Let me tell you something right now. That is amazing. I'm so happy with that. It's like, I was a little bit worried that the sweet potato and the beet greens would be like too earthy, right? Like taste too much like dirt basically. Cause you know, beets kind of taste like dirt sometimes. Somehow this all works. I mean, this is super healthy too. Hmm. Okay. So, so healthy and marvelous. Healthy and marvelous. Okay, there you have it. Another winner. This is a winner, so I'm, I'm all down. I'm gonna try this other stuff, this chili cowboy. Somebody in this house has been drinking all of this chili cowboy and without me. So I haven't had a single bit. Not a single bit. You I'm, haven't tried that at all? Nope, I'm not even sure where it came from. It's thick. 
Came from Janet. Colorado chili cow. Well, that's yeah, somebody dropped it off uh, with Janet, and then she she gave me some. I have a feeling just by smelling the smokiness that it's going to add to the whole thing. That's what I thought. This is really, um, this is really a really amazing combination. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like that one with it? Oh my god! So, better than a Tabasco? Oh my god! Okay. Hundred percent. Okay, I'm going to try it too. Okay, there's something about this. Yeah, this is what it looks okay, like. Okay, you guys, you guys, I don't know, I don't know where you get that from. I don't know where that's gonna come from. That that stuff. But if you have your favorite hot sauce, your favorite, your favorite. Oh, it says stuff, order online at saucecrafters.com. All right, uh, you got. If you like fish, if you don't like fish, <clears throat> you got to try this. This makes no sense at all. This this recipe makes no sense. There was not a single thing about it. I'm gonna tell you the truth, Elizabeth. When you were telling me about it, I was like, oh God, this is not gonna go well. He thinks he's the only one in this house that can cook. <laughs> Not <laughs> said that. But it, this combination just doesn't make sense. Sweet potatoes and fish and then some greens off of beets. Oh shoot. I'm gonna kill it first. Here, I'm stick a gaff in it again. Th that, that mm -hmm. stuff really, oh man, this is a home run. You know what? Hmm. This reminds me sort of like chipotle's in adobo, right? So mm -hmm. like this has got like a really smoky, delicious flavor. It makes the sweet potato taste sweeter to me. Ah, uh, maybe that's what it is. It know. like, it totally balances it out. It's like hot and smoky and delicious and good. Okay, this is really great. Well done. We'll do this again. Can't wait to catch the next mahi so we can do this all over again. This is a great, great meal. This is a great meal. So good, right? Yeah. For those of you who like fish, those of you who don't like fish, try this. This is this is great. Listen, if we were in a restaurant and we were eating this in a restaurant, I'd be like, how do we? What do you call that when you dissect it? Yeah, like duplicate it. No, yeah, but there's a you know when you, you take it apart. There's a word when people say like they um, they uh, deconstruct. Deconstruct. Yeah. How would I? Because you know, we do that all the time. How would we deconstruct this and make this at home? Well, you made it at home first. This is great. This is equal to or better than my aquapaza that we made last time in the last one. You guys didn't try the aquapaza, you should try that. Oh, that's so good. But you gotta awesome. try this. You guys there, listen, you come down to the Keys, you catch fish, everybody fries it or bakes it. Oh, and make tacos. How many tacos can you eat? This is freaking awesome. This is amazing. And, that, and that's been our quest lately. We've been trying to find out new ways to make fish, especially for a person like me who's not a big fish eater. This is a home run. Now, you know what we gotta do? We gotta work with the tuna and come up with mm -hmm. different ways to eat the tuna. Yeah, you saw all the tuna we caught today. So what tuna recipes do you have? We've done poke bowls, we've done sushi, we've done seared tuna. But, um, the tacos yeah. to death. Um, and then we're gonna give up the rolls and then we're gonna give up doing sushi. Right. But what else could we do? I mean, you know, what else can we do? Drop us a comment. How do you make yeah. the tuna when you get it? Aside from everything we just said. Yeah, there's something like, there's got to be something, you know, like, like the restaurants. There's got to be like something that like, you can really do with the tuna that's different. Like this, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what this, this is, this is next level chef stuff right here. That's what this is. This is when you go to a restaurant and you order something, you go, what's that? And then they bring it to you and you go, holy mackerel. This is amazing. Wow. Next level chef stuff. That's what this okay. is. This is next level, man. I mean, this is. Who comes up with this out of the clip? But what you did was brilliant. That's great. Yeah. That was really, really good. High five. Great. All right. Well, there you have it. Here's the deal. We really appreciate you watching us. We really appreciate you following us. We had a great time making this one. Hey, if you like this little banter afterwards, if you could put up with that. <laughs> yeah. Tell us if you like it. We're trying something new. Like, you know, having you sit at the table with us. If you don't like it, let us know because yeah, we, we just keep the people. Do it. Yeah. But we, yeah, we're thinking about doing that even in restaurants. Just kind of like hanging out and having you with us and talking about whether we like it, we don't like it, the texture of it, whether it's good. We can do that with the restaurants around here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll start doing that with some of the restaurants. If you guys want to see that, we will go out to a restaurant, put the camera right there, have you with us, and try some stuff and go, yeah, this is great or this is horrible. Yeah. So. You guys are the absolute best. We love you so much. The channel keeps growing and we are so grateful. Yes. So if you have not subscribed yet, you are totally missing out. And mm. if you want more, 
then you know we do special videos for our members and things like that consider yeah. joining the channel yeah join the channel yeah and with our monthly live stream giveaway as a reminder if you're a channel member you automatically get entered 10 times everyone else if you want to be part of the monthly live stream giveaway down in the description box there is a link for you to sign up so and elizabeth said something about um that if you're not subscribed you're missing out if you're not subscribed we're missing out we'd like to have you a part of that part of the team part of the family that's right so uh -huh. yeah. All right, guys, you know the deal. Follow, Follow us. us. Clicker off. Got the old clicker off. Mm, you see what I'm doing here, right? I mean, this is crazy. I'm trying to situate this thing at the same time. I don't know if you can see this whole thing. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to make it happen. Big, big. You still on? I don't think he's on. Shit! That was a good fish. He's gone. Ba battery number three. So saw some fish breaking a couple minutes ago. Uh, battery went dead. Had a fish on. Lost them. Uh, don't know what happened after that. <laughs> so we're gonna try to keep this battery going for as long as we can. I'm sorry. So it begins. The eggplant on the bot. Eggplant. Egg, damn it, I said eggplant again. Leaves. The beet greens. Beet greens, that's what they're called. <laughs> no beets were injured during the making of this video. Some, uh, start over. It's take two, Elizabeth. I've got some, um, oh my God, why? Blah, blah. Now it's uh, time for you. Could you guys show up here and could you clean this up for us so we can go relax? <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Uh, that's getting cut out. <laughs> that's getting cut out. Why? Because.